Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I am here with another video. I want to talk about not one, but two articles about white racist woman, white woman, who is getting black men either falsely accused of rape or in jail. or even worse, killed. One example is this woman right here, Nikki Vovina. She's now been sentenced to three years in jail as of recently after pleading guilty to false rape claims against two black football players. They don't say the race of the players but they were black players. She wanted, I guess she wanted to oppress some white boyfriend or something. Um, and the men got falsely accused of rape. I'm not sure if it's that, that one. but all I know, what I know is this woman falsely accused two black men of rape and I think because they were football players, they were about to lose their scholarships. I wonder if they found a way to give them, give them back or find some kind of way to help with their education. And But this woman right here is also an example why I can't trust the Me Too and Time's Up movement. You know, that's the movement where you have women uh, um, so-called coming forth against past history of sexual assault that they were the victims of, and some men, yet now it's gone to a point where that's becoming nothing more than a way to go after successful men for money grabs. There was even a feminist that says she had no problem with men being falsely accused of rape. I'm not saying, no, she didn't say she had to, um, she wants women to only go after men who have actually done it. There was a feminist that said that she wants women to falsely accuse men of raping. And you know, that's a dog whistle for go after black men. And particularly, you see, that's another thing why a lot for the past couple of months, they have only targeted black men because they last year it was mostly white rich men, some who actually admitted to actually committing acts of sexual harassment and assault. But of course, these white women know uh, they do not want their community to be destroyed. So now they're going after black men. Now back to this story. She's been sentenced to only three years of jail. I don't even want to read this article. But if y'all want to, I'll leave the link to it in the description box. But she almost had those black men in jail. She should be sentenced even more harshly than just only three years i don't think three years is gonna cut it i mean look at the face of, she's rolling her eyes against the judge after being sentenced because she got caught yeah she needs to suffer worse than just three years in jail she's just an example of what some of these people in the me too movement are trying to do to the black community they're trying to destroy the black family try to create more gender war between black men and black women and also once again some of these black men who are bashing black women who want to be interracial dating some of these women some of these white women uh the black men who are dating white women I want to ask you something if you get in trouble 
at the risk of being put in jail or d or death, do you think these white women are going to understand the racial issues that you as a black man are going to face? I'm not, if y'all want an interracial date, that's fine. I don't want an interracial date. I prefer if I'm meeting someone, I hook up with a black woman. I'm single now, but I do want to hook up with a black woman. But these, for you black men that want to interracial date, will that woman in an interracial relationship defend you if you get into a racial situation? More than, um, because the only women that understand you, black men, is black women. That's why we need to promote more black love. Now I got another article I want to show. We got from black men being put in jail or at risk of being in jail because of white woman. Now we have an article with this thing. Let me see here. Now we have one where a white woman has gotten a black man killed. Uh, all right, here. Sorry for the long wait. Um, but here. Here we have where a white woman has gotten a black man killed. Um, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl Jennings, this is the white woman right here, was accused, was charged with first degree murder of the death, shooting death of Michael Evans. And now she is sent, being sentenced to 15 years in prison for the fatal shooting and vehicle of black college student heading to work. This man was just heading to his job where this woman right here just shot and killed this man. But you have some of these black men on YouTube, and we know who we're talking about, that only focusing on bashing black women. I don't see a lot of black women, I mean, I'm not saying they don't do it, but I don't see a lot of black women just shooting up black men for just no reason, as much as I've been seeing a lot of white women or white men do it I see a lot of white women calling the cops on black men for no reason but here you have a woman actually fatally killed a black man with her own weapon These people who want to, these black men who want to promote interracial dating, instead of promoting what we should be promoting, which is black love, want to ignore stories like this and the other one I just showed. Same with black women who want to promote interracial dating. They want to ignore stories like this. Because it messes with their agenda. Which is good. We need to promote more black love. We need to destroy this swirling movement that's going to effectively hurt our population, not help it. There's another story later on that I want to talk about. About someone promoting that, that mess. And it's not a black woman. And he's not from America. But as for these two art stories. Now he, she gets sentenced 15 years. But I wish she got more. I wish both 
Nikki Van um, Yovita and Cheryl Jennings got more prison time. But I'll leave the link to the two articles in the description box and maybe even the comment section. And I want to see in the in the chat room what do y'all think about these two stories. Um, leave your comment in the comment section to see what you feel about the two articles I just showed. I'm just showing the two stories I'm just showing. If you're not a subscriber and just happen to come across my videos, make sure you subscribe. If you are a subscriber but yet having problems getting notifications, right now the best thing you can do, and you finally happen to get one of my videos, the best thing you can do is just unsubscribe real quick, then resubscribe and re-hit that notification bell so you know, hopefully, when I have another video or live stream. And make and also make sure you subscribe. I'll also have the accounts, all the accounts that I have in the description box and comment section. So um you can check out some of my videos and post in those accounts. Make sure you share this video, share the two articles share it and make sure and so you can get more people to subscribe to this chat plant platform or any other of my accounts and also to spread the word on what's been going on but that's all I have to say uh, thank you to all the subscribers who are subscribed to me who follow me who have friended me and the cat and their and the different platforms and stuff that's all I gotta say for now. Thank you for your time and I hope to catch y'all in another video.